got this thing in the mail and all I can say is wow, all right? You get it, you print your artwork, you marry the A sheet to the B sheet, you press it and you get stuff like this. T-shirts, back neck label, hang tag, boxes, and yes, even stickers. Uninet, eye color, 560, white toner printer. Let's go. What's up guys, Gary Edgene, t-shirthelpdesk.com. Got a doozy for you today. This machine is a game changer. It's not so much what the machine can do, what can it do? Check it out. Okay, so we're gonna get down into just a few basics of what exactly is a white toner printer and how does it work? All right, guys, essentially what you have is an A sheet and a B sheet. The A sheet is the transparent, right? And this is what the printer actually prints. This sheet is the B sheet, which the, is the adhesive, okay? That back part is to show you the part that's not an adhesive. You, you marry them together with the heat press, and that's what makes your transfer. And then you print that on your shirt, and that's the printer. All right, guys, the place where this thing really shines is the software. This Pro Rip software is amazing, all right? Uh, pretty much you upload your artwork, and if you know what you're going to be printing on, what paper you're going to be using, what substrate or whatever, you just choose it. And pretty much the program does the work for you. Of course, there's little nuances, but that's pretty much it. So with that being said, let's print something. Okay, guys, so we take our print out. You can see it right there, and that's our B sheet, as I showed you before. We're going to marry those together. We're going to take those. We're going to put them under the heat press. Then we're going to add our silicone sheet, and we're going to press that bad boy at 300 degrees for two minutes or 120 seconds. All right, we lift it up, and then, it because it's hot, you just have to do a hot peel gonna peel that bad boy up then you trim the edges real quick because there may be a little bit of adhesive there you see that that is your transfer okay so we're about to print but before we print we want to make sure that we uh, take our shirt folded in half so that we get that you know half line so we know how to get it all nice and even and we take that t-shirt help desk ruler, all right? Put that right there. And we make sure that everything is all squared up, mm, ready to go. And then you simply press, all right? 300 degrees for 30 seconds, okay? And this one is a cool peel. I was doing it right here, um, but it was too hot on the plat, so I took it over to the desk. I took a t-shirt to kind of absorb some of that heat, all right? Because this is a cool peel. I use a textile to get some of that heat out and peel that bad boy. So you can see it has a little bit of a sheen, but all we have to do is just press it again and all of that goes away and we make it safe for washing. All right. And now press it. Bang. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So then I lay it out. All right. It, I mean, guys, I wish you could really feel this thing. It feels like screen printing. Tales from the crypto, a little Bitcoin. All right, guys, if you're liking the information that you're seeing and you're thinking you may want to see more stuff like this, I strongly suggest you go down and click that subscribe button, click that notification bell. And if you're watching on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, follow us so you'll be notified of all this great information we have on the t-shirt industry. Back to this video. Okay, so the next thing is doing larger prints, all right? Now, for me, being a designer, it's very simple. All I have to do is take the artwork and kind of break it up into a couple of pages. But if you're not that savvy, um, you don't know Photoshop, Illustrator, all that stuff, it might be kind of difficult. They also have smart cut software. So pretty much all you have to do is upload it and it'll cut it up into a couple of different pages and you just put it together, heat press it, and it's all good, all right? So it's built in for you. Now me, I know how to do that stuff, so I did it myself. So let's get into a big print. All right, so we go to our software and we print. You can see that there's uh, two prints this time. This is the first print, the tiger face. And that's all the writing around. Even the 
uh, back neck label. And then we do the same process. Uh, we cut around it and then we place it all together. All right. And then we're going to press it. All right. And then, of course, you follow the first instructions. You have to press it um, twice and bam, look at what you have. All right. And look at the size of that. Look at the coverage. Now, look at this. This is our first one. You see, it's a little bit smaller and bam, Look at this one, all right? Covers a really nice uh, portion of the shirt. And you can go even down further if you want to. Yes, indeed, all right? And uh, also, that back neck, you see, you got the back neck print. And uh, look at that, there's a hang tags. That's right. You saw it correctly, okay? Hang tags, all right? And guys, I wish you guys could feel how great this thing feels. I mean, it feels like screen printing. But anyway. There is so much more to running a t-shirt business than just t-shirts, okay? You have to mail out stuff, all right? You're going to need custom boxes, custom mailers, the actual mailing labels, okay? You may even need stickers, all right? Guess what? This machine can help you do all of that. Don't believe me? Check this out. So for our next number, you're going to need a tagging gun. A 1 16th inch hole punch, not the standard hole punch, right? This is a smaller hole punch. Some mailer boxes, all right? Preferably a dark color so you can utilize the white toner. Some card stock, preferably some dark card stock because you want to uh, use and utilize that white toner. Some hard surface paper, okay? This is a plus, not a must, but really nice. I'm going to show you. A guillotine cutter. It makes everything nice and neat. You can also use scissors, but this makes everything nice and neat. All right, so we print our cardstock, okay? We print some nice uh, colors on that. Then we take them over and we chop them up, okay? I use the uh, guillotine paper cutter, but you can also use scissors. It's just a lot neater this way. Then I take that small hole hole puncher and I punch a little hole right in our homemade tag. Then I take our tagging gun and I attach it right to the t-shirt. Check that out. Doesn't it look like it came out of a store? All right, so then we take our box and we put it under the heat press. And this is where the hard surface paper comes in. That hard surface transfer paper comes in. We peel it up and check that out. Custom printed boxes at home. Then we take that bad boy, fold it into a box, fold our shirt. Put it up in there and imagine seeing that in your mailbox. All right, guys, one more thing. I got some label sticker paper from Staples, right? But if you really want to kick things up a notch, get this sticker paper directly from Uninet. It's certified to work with the printer. I printed out some stuff on that paper, okay? You see these artworks? I cut it in a vinyl cutter, my Cameo vinyl cutter. Look at that stickers took one of those stickers hole punched it and now look sticker hang tags all right check that out then i took that same paper and i printed a real label that's going to go on the back of our box look at that and now another one of those stickers i'm going to take and put it right on the edge of the box all right to hold it down and say thank you at the same time and now that is what you call a t-shirt package. All right, guys. So that is the machine. I strongly suggest you go down in the description box, okay, and check out those links. I mean, they have pricing, they have financing, everything you want to get this bad boy in your possession. I also have the links for all of the different products that uh, was used in this video, okay? So make it happen Captain. Not only that, they also have a master class that teaches you all the ins and outs and outs and ends of using the printer. OK, it's unbelievable. So anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. Do something good for somebody. If you don't have anyone to do something good for, do something good for yourself. Start a T-shirt business or die trying. God bless. I'm finna put some butter on my shoes and slide on out the dope. Until next time, peace. Uh, mailers, boxes, all right? Oh, man.
Damn. T-shirt help brusque.